How do I get to Burnley? VAR comes in. No goal. First day in Premier League season for the Saints, and I'm heading up to Burnley right now. It's a good old turf moor, never been before. Um, got the away shirt on, nice tick. Got the train tickets, and um, and uh, I got the tickets. I didn't forget them. I reckon it's going to be two-one. That's my bold prediction. I'm going to take the train up there, all the way up to good old Burnley. Hopefully, I'll get to meet as lots of uh, Saints fans as I can. Get their predictions as well. Um, simple day out, isn't it? How do I get to Burnley? Just been told uh, you get to Burnley by changing at Preston, so uh, that'll be the 9.30, thank you very much. Get to Preston, 11.38, bosh. Look at that for a queue, eh? Absolute shambles, mate, absolute shambles. Anyway, uh, here we go, uh, heading off to Preston now. Shambles, mate, what are the shambles? He didn't even have his ticket. It was just, you need the other part, you need your seat reservation, mate. But he was like, I don't need it. He does need it, come on, mate. then heading over to Burnley. But the uh, train was late, therefore we need to make a dash to get to platform two to make it. Oh, it's coming through. Whee. But just a little quick question. I was thinking, who's the fastest player at Saints? It's got to be Redders, isn't it? Ready? It's got to be him. Or what? Over Femi. Rapid. Maybe just leave a comment on that. Who is the fastest Saints player? All right, so I meet my main man, Lee, here. He's a I'm loving this retro kit. Uh, prediction today, then, Lee? I think it's 2 1 to Burnley, obviously. Um, I think Rodriguez is going to score on his debut, probably his second debut. Yeah, yeah. Against... I just feel like it's fitting that it's going to happen because, I mean, X Saints first game back. This is the delightful sights of Burnley. Uh, several things I need to do today. I need to, we've just been told uh, from Andy here, Burnley fan, need to find some Benny and Ock. Uh, and I have to have a pie and peas. Is it pie and peas? And gravy. And gravy, of course. Uh, so we're just heading to the pub now, try and find that, and then, hopefully, three points for Saints, thank you. First person I noticed, loads of colour, Sonia, um, wearing the Saints outfit, very pink, I'm liking it, and yeah, matching with the lipstick. Pink. Matching lipstick, obviously. And the eyeshadow as well, I Absolutely. know too much about we the like makeup. To be coordinated, and a bag too, that was in there. That's uh, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, and where's your daughter at the moment? Um, my daughter's at home. Really? Okay, fair enough. But this person's not. There she is. Look at this. Get in. Hi, peas, gravy, chips. Uh, I'm here with Stuart. He's actually around in the bar at the moment. Uh, got Phil at the side. He hasn't got a round in, but anyway, let's not discuss him right now. Stuart, 40 years as a Saints fan. Number one, are you optimistic about this season? And number two, I want your score prediction today. Very optimistic and 3-1 Saints. Okay, and optimistic, why? What, what has given us Saints fans that belief again? Uh, because the youngsters and the speed and the, he just wants young blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very op optimistic. I, think, I don't know about you, the only thing that's letting us down today is the weather. It's terrible, I'm, I'm absolutely soaked. Like <laughs> Burnley. Yeah. And, you know. That's what we expected, but anyway, I'll see you in the ground. three points, done. Exactly, three points, thank you very much. See you in the ground, Dave. Thank you. What is this terrible, terrible weather? Somewhere they said, yeah, go on, Tom. Get yourself up there, yeah? Away game, it'll be great fun. Burnley, it's summertime. The sun will be out. Will it? Look at my glasses. Look like a fool. Here we are, Led. Away supporters. This is it, the beautiful turf mod. Coaches are here. All the fans want to come along. It's horrible, horrible weather. Made it through the turns to us. Here we go, then. Here we are. Way section, let's get amongst it. The beautiful Turf Moor, it is. But most importantly, the beautiful things are down there warming up.
Now Burnley thought they had a goal. VAR comes in. No goal. Not a lot of chances. I think the weather conditions really had an effect on the game. Romeo there in the middle. Hello, absolutely busted it. Burnley. Uh, they had a couple of chances, but nothing really that dangerous. But the Saints doing an amazing job to keep it nil nil. Looks like a Redmond shot, or is it a Prousey? No one knows. Unbelievable scenes. Ryan Bertrand having it, left foot. Saints looking closer to getting this goal. Favourite game I like to play is who's got a pair of glasses on their head? That man. Who else has got a pair of glasses on their head? That man. One game. Yeah, it's not a Saints goal score, that's actually Barnes. It's 1 0 Burnley. But that's okay, I don't mind because my prediction was 2 1. So two goals now for Saints. We came very close there. Ashley Barnes scores for Burnley, not even bothered. Not enjoying that. Second goal for Burnley there. Not enjoying this at all. That's two now. 70 minutes. 20 minutes to score two goals, at least to go away with a point. Come on, Ralph. Come on, what are you going to do? Come on, Ralphie. This is not easy view, and that's the third, third for Burnley. Played over the top. Where was the foul? Foul was given. 3 0. Ooh, I'm not enjoying this. I'm hoping it goes to VAR. Well, what can I say after that? Uh, you know, it's nice, nice to get out of the house. Uh, don't know what else to say, really. Not ideal, but hey, look, listen. It's one match. Uh, there's 37 more to go. Um, disappointed, but look, onwards and upwards, we march on. True Saints fans know what it's all about. Listen, we've got to do what we got to do. Now everyone's making their way home. Let's get out of it.